The story goes is that uh, we need to strive for to be independent, independent of others. <clears throat> independent uh, is, is being successful. Well, I think there's some truth to that. There is some truth to that because the independence part comes to where we strive individually to achieve whatever we want to achieve or, or, or just get to a certain, certain level and stay there, whatever. We do that individually. Like when we work, we need to work individually. We produce a service or we produce a product in terms of the working world, right? But on the, on the flip side, which is very obvious, I'm not stating anything, anything not known by anybody, but we're totally dependent, <clears throat> whatever service or, or industry you're in, whatever it is, where you're, depend, you're depending on a client or if you're an employee, you're dependent on a boss to pay you. But whatever it is, whatever, whatever business you're doing, you're relying on customers or clients to buy your good or service. So in that case, we're totally dependent. And this often gets missed in the, in the career, uh, I, I guess, ideologue or the career uh, discussion is that like at university, you know, that you, you're taught to have, get the skill to, to be skillful at something. So that's, that's the individual part where you're independent. But just as important when learning to get along with people and learning to sell your good or service or learning to, how, learning to be unified with other people in order, in order to learn a living is just as important, if not more, right? Because it's not necessary to have a university degree or a trade to earn a living. Right, uh, particularly in countries outside the West, there's people just selling pencils by the road or or incense or whatever. It and and they do okay some of these people because uh, there's a community atmosphere around it as well. Like you develop a relationship with people in the community, right? That is more crucial for success than most other things. I mean, being skillful at what you do, sure. But what's more important? I think that uh, that often gets missed is learning to be content with whatever you have. That's get missed gets missed all the time. A lot of people might say that that might mean compromising. So in other words, you've set a goal and you give up on the goal and just compromise for what you do have. No, that's not it at all. Because sometimes you may get to the goal and you may lose it because that's part of the impermanence, right? That's part of impermanence. How many people have lost their riches in a day? I remember living in New York in 2008 and uh, having a business at that time and I was doing really, really well and uh, I had a good clientele and everything was great and then there was a stock market crash. Uh, within two or three months, uh, the street that I had my business on at that time, so many businesses just shut down overnight. So many people lost their homes and my clientele dropped from a really healthy clientele to, to, to minimal, right? Just within a month. So even when you hit the goal, right? Even when you, you hit a certain goal, it's not that you compromise, but being learning to be content and learning to do what you got is, is also very skillful and also very important to understand in life. Rather than just make it all about success, it's also good to learn to be content with little, or if you got a lot, great, right? But learning to be content because everything can be taken away just as it comes, it can go. And that's one thing that is rarely talked about with success, right? How many people have been famous and then the next day they, they're, not fam they're, not, they're not famous anymore. They lose, they become infamous, right? So this is part of, I think, uh, Buddhist knowledge in terms of dealing with the world is it's good to have goals, it's good to, to target your goals, but also understand that it can be taken away by itself or through because of various uh, consequences of bad actions from the past that we might have forgotten. But these things can be taken away. And I think today what, what I'm trying to get at is a healthy mental approach to succeeding in life uh, in terms of the lay life is to understand that you need independence and dependence. They're both equally important. They're both equally important because even you become really rich, right? You have a mansion. Well, guess what? You need electricity. You need water. You need food, right? You need services just like everybody else. You need to go buy your food. You need people to help you stay, 
it, uh, to, to, to survive, to eat, to, like for yourself. But also, you still need people to buy your service or product, even if you're a millionaire. Or even if you're, well, these days, millionaire doesn't mean much like it used to, like 30 years ago. These days, it's more like billionaire or trillion. Now we're going on to trillionaire now. All right, we're progressing from the millionaire to the trillionaire now. And, and even then, like, how much is enough? Right. So contentment and learning to understand that independence and dependence are both, are all three of them are all equally important. And the fourth one, being content, Sorry, the third I already said being content. So those three three things, independent, dependent, contentment. And to us understand the fourth one now, the fourth one is impermanence. That, you know, our life, for example, is you know, we're only on a we're on a one way ticket here. Right? So in terms of bringing it back to Dharma and Buddhism, the the biggest success is to purify the chitta. Is to uh, is to develop the wisdom faculty within ourselves. Now this one here, we're independent in the sense that we can do it ourselves. But sometimes you need to be dependent on a teacher too. You need someone to show you, like uh, to show you the way. Unless, of course, you can be a samasam Buddha, right? But as we saw, even in the Buddha's life, he had to he he had uh, two teachers in the beginning of his search of his seeking on his path and they taught him ABC right they taught the Buddha our Buddha uh, ABC and he worked out that that was enough so then he went out and he practiced independently right so in Buddhism it's more about do it yourself do with what you got and do the best you can with what you got and uh, don't complain don't blame don't point the finger outwards uh, outwards at anybody uh, and and just do do extremely well with what you have with what you do have right so in practice it's it's not much different but remember we have the wisdom faculty now success in the buddha sense is success inside success outside so in other words for the lay person if, if one has a really good bedrock of morals has a good bedrock of concentration skillful concentration is able to stabilize the mind is able to stabilize able to st stabilize tranquility serenity for oneself and focus internally that's really good that's success the the, the highest success of course is, is achieving total freedom which is the third noble truth cessation of dukkha if you can do that as a lay person or as a monk that's the best that's success in buddhism that's real success in buddhism that's what our ultimate aim is but s since these videos constantly go out to lay people and I don't think many monks watch these videos I don't know what for why they would um, but the idea is to understand how things actually are is actually that we are dependent we are dependent heavily on the elements for survival not other people it's the earth that produces the water the food the air right the sun the moon these kind of things not to forget that to just to, to, to not you lose reality of that and it's up to people to provide the services like if you have a comp complex home with electricity and gas and all kinds of stuff you know there needs to be someone uh, keeping the switches on at the gas plant or the electricity plant you need people to do that right your internet everything else someone laid that cable right so not let's not go too far away from reality here uh, and, and think where, you know, when you're successful, you're living on a cloud and you no longer lead, uh, need people. You still need people because you can fall from that cloud just like that, like many have. You know, I know stories of many rich people who overnight lost, like when I was living in New York, also in Sydney, when I knew prominent people. One day they were rich, the next day they had to borrow money. And I knew one guy who had to borrow $4 million to keep his business afloat. And he was one of the richest men I knew in, in Australia, right? Not I don't mention names. I'm not trying to call out people. But this is the reality behind the scenes. These things can be taken away. That's why there's a lot of wealthy people who do nothing but constantly be vigilant to protect their wealth, right? They don't just splurge and they, because they know that it can, be, it, it, can, it can be gone quickly, right? That's why uh, being content with what you have 
whether it's a lot or little, is better, is, is an ingredient that should be included in your formula for success. To understand what independence means, independence means that you are independently or individually responsible for your due diligence in whatever uh, work you do or profession you do or whatever craft you do, right? And you're individually uh, responsible for and accountable for your practice, right? For your practice. That's really important. So as a, as a Buddhist lay person, if you can find the balance between the both, right? And understand that you're dependent as well, you're dependent on others, that will help you to strive and it will help you understand how to live in a community better. If uh, in the Buddhist community, that's why we talk about unity, because we're dependent on each other. That's the truth. That's reality. That's the reality of the situation. Not what we're taught, the 100% that we're independent, you earn money and you're just independent and you're living there and you don't rely on people anymore. You always rely on people. And if you're not relying on people, if you're, if you're that skillful, where you're not relying on people, the Buddha still walked for food in the morning. He still relied on people to give him food, to give the Buddha food and water and clothing, right? We're still dependent on others for services. But even further than that, we're still dependent on the earth for, 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 for the vital things, right? So we, we must stay connected. It's good to stay connected and humble and connected to the, to the reality of things. That way you start to relax more and you start to realize how things really are. And it makes you more humane instead of more like isolated and living in a bubble and uh, being greedy and hateful towards others. Understand that every rich person should understand that they got there because other people helped them get there or other people bought the tickets, bought the tickets to their shows as opposed to uh, they got there on their own. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. Right. Sure, you worked hard or you or you or you didn't work hard. You know, maybe you stole, maybe you were born into that family or whatever. Whatever it is, you still need people to keep your uh, your empire up, right? You still need people to keep your empire up. And this is where the tilt has gone in the wrong direction. The education has gone in the, the, the wrong direction. When you're independent, you can tell the world to, 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 to go, you know, to that place. And, uh, you know, you don't have to depend on anyone anymore because, this, no, you're always going to be depending on someone no matter who you are, or depending on the earth. You're always going to be depending on the earth. And you're always going to be depending on services and goods from other people for whatever you need, right? At least for the basics. Uh, So, you know, and then remember the, the factor of impermanence where it can be taken away. So that's where you dwell in, in contentment, in contentment. So when you have a lot, share some of it, right? Be compassionate and be uh, and have goodwill for others, because because we're dependent on each other. Now generosity, which I've talked about before, and I don't really want to go into generosity so much here, but generosity is what keeps the wheels turning, right? Without generosity, uh, it's a dark world. And look at the world today; it's turning into a dark world because all these things have have been forgotten, you know. Rich people think they're on the top of the mountain and there's no one else living on the earth or they think they can wipe people out willy-nilly or take advantage of the innocent or harm the innocent or torture the innocent for their own own, uh, frivolity and for their own humour or for their own pleasure. Why is all this? I guess it's always been, but there's a lack of morality because there's, there's this sense of being independent above everybody else and not, and losing the the reality, the truth of the reality that we're all dependent on each other in a lot of ways. We're not all totally dependent on each other. It's not 100% absolute correct. And we're not totally independent of each other 100%. No, we, there is an independence, which I've explained, but there's also a dependence. And I think that's for our children and for the future of people, I think it's better to teach them this way um, and teach them what success really is. It's a balance of both. But it's also a balance of keeping your life pure of, of, of also uh, developing yourself and developing your capabilities internally. A, a serene mind, a tranquil mind, a purified mind is crucial to having a happy and joyous life as well, right? It's not just about having a skill so you can go to work and just ha- and, and, and sell a good or service. That's not just, that's not the end of life, right? That's what's been told. That's what 
You know, that's what makes good slaves, right? That's the, condi the social conditioning out there. Remember, you have mind, you have chitta. Remember, you will die, we will die. Where do we go next, right? Where do we go next? Remember, there's more to life than just producing a service or good, right?